What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add another user to your computer. Check it out. Hey guys, before we jump on over to the computer, the purpose of this tutorial is to allow you to add a different user to your computer. If you have multiple users that actually use the same computer, what you can do is you can use or add a user and that will allow you guys to share the same computer but actually have different profiles upon that computer. And that's enough jibber jabber for me. Let's hop over to the computer and show you how it's done. To get the party started, we've got two different options that we can do. I am on a Windows 10 machine. However, Windows 10 and really Windows 8 and up had a different process of adding a new user to a computer. So I'm going to show you the old school way, which was from Windows 7. And then I'm going to show you the new way, which is Windows 8 and above. So Windows 7, what you had to do, go into your start menu and you could type in control panel or you could type in account and it would bring up the control panel or the add account user option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into control panel on the Windows 10 machine here. You can see panel. And you're gonna be used to going to the user accounts, user accounts, and then right here where it says manage another account, you can click on this, and this will give you the option to add a new user. When you click on that, it will then ask you what the name of the user is and what the password is that you wanna set for this new user, and then if you wanted to set a password hint as well. The steps are a little bit different on Windows 10, so as far as a legacy, this is about as far as I can go, because as soon as you click on that for Windows 10, it brings up the new process. For Windows 10, what you can actually do is go back down into your start menu, start typing in the word user, and you're gonna get a little pop-up or a little option that says add, edit, or remove other people. You can left click on that option. And that same window that you just saw is going to come up right here. And you're gonna to want to click on add someone else to this PC. Now the benefit of what Windows started to do or Microsoft started to do with Windows 8 and higher is it allowed you to tie a Microsoft account and eventually they made it to where the Microsoft account could be like a Gmail that you had or a Yahoo or a Hotmail and what this allowed you to do, it allowed you to link the computer and if you lost a password or forgot the password on how to get into your computer, you could reset the email password and it would also reset the computer password. So there's a two different options going uh you could how will this person sign in if they have an email address you can type that in there or if they're setting it up they can type it into this field and then hit next i however like to create local accounts and because i know you typically don't really have an issue with losing my passwords i like to have my computer disconnected from microsoft as much as possible granted windows 10 you can't really do that so i'm going to click on i don't have this person sign in information and what that's going to do is it's going to take us to a new screen that allows you to go and create a new microsoft account if you don't already have one. Otherwise, I'm gonna go down to the bottom here and click add a user without a Microsoft account. What this allows you to do is it allows you to create a local account like you normally did on older computers such as Windows 7 or previous. So once you click on that, it's then gonna give the option, same thing, what do you want the username to be? We'll just type in test. And then we'll type in a password. And then of course, if you want to add a hint, you're more than welcome to add a hint right here. If you don't, you usually you do have to type in something. So I normally just will hit none. Basically, I don't want to add that. You will hit next. And then what that's going to do is it's going to take you to a new window or this previous window where it says other people, it has a test account. You can left click on this option and you can change the account type if you wanted for them to be a standard user or if you wanted to be, have them be the administrator, what that allows them to do is it will allow them to install programs or make uh, user account control changes on the computer and change basic like system files and things like that. So whichever one you do, it does default to standard user, but if you wanted to change them to an admin, that way you don't have to type in your password. If they ever want to install a program, you would choose administrator and then click OK. The benefit of using a standard user is if you have grandchildren or something along those lines that come over and use the computer, you can set standard user and that will prevent them from installing things on the computer that you don't want there. So once you've, like I said, once you've got the set, just click OK. We're going to leave it on standard user, hit OK. And then you, what you'll want to do is you'll want to reboot the computer and then on the login screen, once you're finished, you will then have the option to choose your profile or allow them to sign into their profile. Once again, guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you loved it, give it a thumbs up, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. And of course, may the fourth be with you and we will see you next time.